Hello, my name is Daniel Olivella. I'm the chef owner of Barlata Tapas Bar. And today we're here to show you how to make a paella to go. We're going to start preparing these kits for you to come and pick it up. And I'm going to walk you through the steps to make it as we're doing here. We're going to talk about the ingredients, then we're going to go to the line and we're going to cook it from A to Z. You're going to see how easy it's going to be to make a paella at home. 18 minutes you can have your paella ready. Okay, let's go. These are the ingredients that we're going to use for uh, our barlata paella that you're going to take home with you. And those are the most four more important ingredients for me. First, we got the rice. It's a saffron rice with a base of roasted onions and uh, vegetable stock. It's already pre-cooked, therefore you save about eight minutes time. We got chicken stock, fresh, freshly made with chicken bones, vegetables and water. And then over here we have a sofrito and a parsley and garlic picada. So frito is a tomato sauce and onion for about a two hours reduction. And this is just basically olive oil, garlic and parsley pounded together. And then this is our seasoning. It's a combination of paprika, Spanish paprika, salt and black pepper. This would be the base of all our paellas. This one we're going to make today, it's going to be a mixed paella. Seafood, meat and vegetables. On the seafood here we got mussels, fresh mussels, we got clams, any clams, any size would work. We got some um, some shrimp, 10-15 shrimp, peel already, we, we keep the tails. Squid, we got two types of squid here, Californian squid and Atlantic squid, bigger and smaller. And then we got chorizo, um, this is Spanish uh, chorizo brand, diced in, in small, small pieces. Then we have chicken, this is thigh meat, that's been marinated with garlic, rosemary, salt and olive oil. And then on top we're going to put some green beans and a few green peas. Those are basically the ingredients for the barlata paella. On the line, to assemble the paella we talked about before, first thing you want to do is to warm up your stock. You don't want to put a, a cold broth into the paella pan. We're going to light the fire, we're going to warm it up, Remember, this is a very thin, very thin uh, pan, so the heat goes through very, very quick. We're gonna get the base of the paella pan with olive oil. We're gonna put our chorizo first. You see how quick the paella pan starts to sizzle. We're gonna get, add the chicken. We're gonna flavor the paella pan with these ingredients first. Just try to make sure that the, the whole time you keep this sizzling going. We, we add the squid, and now everything is a process. It's, it's a non-stop movement now. We mix, we let the squid cook the squid for a little bit. And at this point myself, I like to put the rice. So we just pour all the rice here that I'm already measuring for you for two servings. Okay, once the rice is there. We got this here, okay, we stir it up a little bit. Listen to the sizzling, constantly sizzling, constantly sizzling, okay. And now we add the combination of sofrito and parsley picada. We put this into the paella pan. Meanwhile, my broth is getting hot here because you want to put the broth boiling. I'm going to put my seasoning now. The salt, paprika, and black pepper combination. We stir this up too. And at this point, I'm going to put some, some of, the, of the broth. Not all of it, some of it. Most of it, but not of all. So at this point, you stir the paella, and once we do this, we're not going to touch it anymore. We're going to wait for it to break bo the boiling. Okay, so it's boiling already right away because we didn't allow it to get to get cold because the broth was hot. We're going to put the clams. So we're going to wait now for about five to six minutes. You don't touch anything. You don't do anything. Just slowly cooking like that. Because what you want is a very thin layer, very thin layer. You see. It's not even half an inch. 
keep keep playing with the heat, make sure it's keep 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 boiling. At this point, I'm gonna put the muscles. Okay, put the muscles next. The muscles are gonna go faster. Okay, the boiling keeps. If you see that it, 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 it goes too quick, too fast, lower it a little more. Put the green beans here. And we got only two ingredients left, which are the shrimp and the green peas. This is, a, this is the trademark paella uh, that we, we serve a lot of these. It's a combination of vegetables, meat, and seafood. We sell a lot of this one, that's the most popular. So we got this nice golf shrimp. At this point, I'm just gonna lay, lay them on top. And if I see, that the paella is taking too long. I don't want to cook the, the seafood. We're going to move it on the side and finish the paella. I try to do this because I don't want to serve my seafood overcooked. It's hard sometimes to time, to time it properly. Clams is opening already. Depends on the type of clams. They take longer. I'm just going to wait. Keep playing with the heat. But as you see, and I repeat myself, it never stops boiling. Super important. You're only gonna accomplish this by respecting the heat, by having the broth hot, making sure the paella is not too hot, not too cold. Yeah. At this point, and you don't have to do that. Me, I like my, my seafood. If it's fresh, very, very undercooked, I remove some of the fish, you know, and I'm gonna let the paella finish and then we're gonna put it back on, on it. Now we're gonna put the rest of the broth. I can see it's gonna need it. If you, if you have a bigger paella, you can use a ladle. Hopefully our clams are gonna open in a little bit. And at this point, I see my paella, it's, it's almost ready. I'm gonna put my green peas. The clams open now. I can see it's a little more broad. Now we're gonna work on the soccer rat. Just be careful not to burn it. Once again, I repeat it, because it's a big difference between soccer rat and burn. You wanna season it for the last minute or two. At this point, we can see, not yet, not yet. It's starting to get stuck in the bottom. Okay, now it's, now it's important not to overdo it, not to burn it. No more stock. Now the paella is ready. And this will be ready to be eaten with a little lemon wedge, doesn't need much more. If you want to, you could drizzle it with some olive oil on top. We, we have this pimenton oil that we, we use in the restaurant sometimes. Some of the paella is about pepper feet on top. That's pretty much it. This is the Barlata Paya for two.